after Jesus had entered Jerusalem and all of that excitement, he went into the temple. And while he was in the temple, he saw the money changers there. He saw people trading and it wasn't a fair trade. People were being ripped off. People were using religion to rip off their brothers and sisters. They were forcing people to use temple currency, which they exchanged at an unfair rate. They then overcharged people for sheep and goats for sacrifices. And Jesus, seeing this, was enraged and threw them out of the temple. So many points we can make about this, about how Jesus is enraged by those who would use faith in him to destroy and to rip off brothers and sisters. The cleansing of the temple, our lives need to be cleansed of all that which is untrue, that we may be a pure temple for the Lord to inhabit. But imagine how the disciples felt. They'd entered into Jerusalem. They were buoyed by the triumphal entry, by the crowd shouting. And then with these crowds, they'd gone into the temple and they'd overturned the tables of the money changers. Probably at this time, they were still excited. They were saying he's purifying the temple, ready for his, uh, his turning on the uh, Roman authorities. And people would have been excited still. But there might have been a little bit of apprehension. And then Jesus curses a fig tree. He goes up to a fig tree, and it's not the right season for figs, and he looks at the fig tree, and he curses it, and the fig tree dies. This, is, of course, is a symbolic parable. Jesus is uh, not angry with the fig tree. He's, 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 uh, showing, he's doing a parable. He's giving a visual aid for a parable. Uh, that which he's planting, which he expects to receive fruit from, the nation of Israel, uh, if he didn't produce it, then... He would uh, take those blessings and distribute them out to the rest of the world. So it's a visual parable. Don't reject God's will for your life. Produce the fruit that he intends. But now there's a, a little change of atmosphere. It, from the triumphal entry, they had, they, the disciples would be aware that he had antagonized the Jewish authorities. He was cre creating alliances against him. They would have hoped, I guess, that he would have brought the chief priests and the Pharisees and scribes on side, that then they would have been a formidable uh, opposition to the Romans. So already there's some anticipation, what is going on here? What can possibly be happening? And so we enter into this, uh, this day of Holy Week, uncertain. It seems to have started to go a little bit wrong. We'll go on through the week and we'll weigh up and we'll think, about the events of this week as they lead us to the cross and ultimately to the resurrection. The Lord bless you. Amen.